hello everybody good day welcome to another video if you're new thanks for stopping by if you subscribe subscribing is absolutely free and if you're not thank you for coming back to this video see i don't know why i wore this red lipstick i'm not used to red looks like i'm used to nude looks and glossy looks because this video is a feminine video i decided to wear red lipstick just to portray the feminine vibe and aura in this video but i regret my decision because i don't look good and i don't feel good but we we'll have to manage because i can't clean the lipstick it's matte and to just cause it miss so yeah welcome to another video today we're going to be talking about feminine tips every girl needs to know and i'm going to be dropping a few stuff that you need to know to keep your both internally externally and character wise okay so the first thing you need to have as a woman the first stuff you need to have is these pills um you can take your phone to browse about it it's called the boric acid pills if you don't have these pills i'm going to drop a page where you can get it get you can get a ladies club underscore ng every woman needs to have this pill especially as women we suffer from chronic infection yeast infections we have this opening that is is fragile and easily prone to get infections and stuff like that these pills i'm going to open it right now Okay, I don't know. Where is the camera? Where is the camera? <laughs> These pills actually helps with infection, staphylococcus, UTI, um, um, smelly discharge, vaginal odor, and even if you don't have all those things, you need to have these pills. I need to insert it like once a month after maybe after your period or after sex you just it keeps your vagina ph balance you just keeps the vagina flora in check so as a lady honey you need to have this pills for your lady part this is the best for your lady part so yeah that's the first tip there the second tip is deodorant of course it's a necessity for both men and women you need to have deodorant you need to have you need to use Perfumes, roll on, like this never roll on is like the bomb. You need to use it, but I also prefer if you're the type that use roll on, the most um roll on has aluminium and it causes dark armpit and dryness, although it works better. But there are also others, um, like this example now. This mine is old, so you know, this stick like um roll on they don't have their aluminium free but they can't hold you like the normal roll on like the Nivea and the rest but it's better you use this type maybe when you're not going far i use my other the Nivea when i'm going to like the market or i'm going for delivery so i have something very tedious to do but this especially as a lady if you're sleeping out you're sleeping over in your man's house you're sleeping you have you're spending the night i advise you use this at night you get it's not ash and it does the job and it smells nice and it doesn't have aluminium which means it's going it's not gonna give it dark and peat so and as for perfumes it's good to invest in good nice perfumes like if you can't afford designer's perfumes or um good perfumes with good smell that is extra expensive or you just can't afford it even if it's not expensive you can spend money buy cheap different cheap perfumes that have nice smells there are cheap perfumes that have nice smells buy like three or four and when you combine them <laughs> it when you when you combine them it will be like who the lazoo you know someone like oh, what are you smelling like what's that scent like Oud de la Zoo. What's that? Oh, it's French, honey. It's French. It's French. You know, it does smell good when you combine this cheap, not the cheap perfume that smells like Alsace uh, stuff or that smells like. No, they are cheap, nice stuff that actually smells very good and spends expensive so investing two three or four of those types i'm combining they will just give a feminine beautiful smell you have to you have to smell nice as a woman you get and you have to bait i think everybody knows this bait twice a day brush your teeth twice a day and invest in mouth wash 
I just recently got up on this and I really love it. I can I can feel the difference. I can smell the difference. I mouthwash is just like this one I'm using is almost done. It's called the Colgate Flat and it's just it smells like um, mint and it's zero alcohol. It's actually nice. After brushing your teeth twice a day, you just use your matte wash like it's bomb. So that's another feminine hygiene you should up on mouth wash brushing your teeth twice a day brushing your teeth twice a day just give you a good smell even at night usually if you're if you're sleeping over at the man's house i beg i don't care how neat you feel you are you need to brush your teeth at night too and it protects you from cavities you know tooth decay cavities because cavities usually happen at our molars and our premolars the back end of our teeth where food particles actually rest in and actually add to actually wash those parts um brush those parts during your brushing routine and eventually bacteria starts eating up those teeth there so mouthwash is just another feminine hygiene you up on baby then I'm going to be talking about a very controversial topic, which is um, using of vagina wash. See, using of, I know a lot of people will be like, oh my god, just use just water, use just water, water does the job and all that. Yeah, using of just water is bomb and it's actually a choice it doesn't mean all vagina wash is bad people be like vagina wash gives you yeast it gives you infection not all not all please don't be an illiterate when it comes to this topic not all stop using scented vagina wash if you use scented vagina wash because you want to smell like strawberry first of all the vagina has its, its own normal smell doesn't mean the smell is rotten, but it has a normal smell. You get so if you want to buy strawberry vagina wash, banana vagina wash, because you want to smell like strawberry, you're only doing yourself harm because guess what? Nothing, <laughs> nothing is going to smell like strawberry there. Okay, so use a non scented vagina wash. Hmm? Non scented vaginal wash. Usually, those ladies that have smegma, if you don't know what smegma is, use Google. Smegma. It's just like somebody that has smegma and telling her to not use to use just water. Just like you having um, oily plates and you're telling and you are washing the oily plates with just um, water. You need soap to actually wash it clean. And when we say use vaginal, vaginal wash, we don't mean you should wash inside your hole, like inside your penetrative or where your discharge comes out from where your blood comes out from no nothing should go inside your vagina hole but around the vagina the hole of your clitoris like the walls of a vagina i wish i had a plastic vagina to, i really wish i did i didn't plan for this video that i would have done a graphical representation so around your vagina that's where you need to wash nothing goes inside the hole but around it use a vagina wash especially if you're a lady you want to just feel extra clean squeaky clean you need a vagina wash after your period or during the period you just want to help the smell around the vagina wash but not a vagina wash i would recommend this femme fresh ultimate care there's different flavors but i will advise you this one is kind of rough because it has been utilized i would advise you to buy the um fresh water pure and fresh wash it's just like water no smell no irritation it's gynecologically approved to use honey it even restores your pH balance you're not going to have any chronic yeast infection if you have a sensitive vagina this is boom you're not going to have chronic yeast infection you're not going to have anything see it's just a blessing from above okay so if you're the type of girl that uses vaginal wash or you're the type that have used one or two vaginal wash in the past and you had issues that because maybe you used a wrong vaginal wash don't use a scented vaginal wash even this femme fresh they have some that has smell so that's why i'm advising you to use the pure and fresh water if you use this vaginal wash you'll tell me thank you baby because <laughs> this is the bomb and there's another type i'm trying to get my hands on it's called the honey pot is a it's a black brand but in america and it's always sold out even people even girls abroad they are finding it out to get their hands on it because of me yes always so that then 
but over here you can get this um femme fresh in any shop around you in uh any mall or anywhere around you and remember we have they have different types make sure you get the pure and fresh water you can see it looks just like water and another thing is that there are so many fake out there if you buy the fake you regret it if you check the back of this femme fresh there is just is i think in the uk the address is there the people making it is in the uk the fake you will see a nigerian they'll tell you distributed by nigeria blah 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 that's the fake if you use it that one smells like pepe that one will give you headache that one would really roughing and spoil things down there so don't buy the fake buy the original and you will love it but if you buy the fake you're going to eat it i think i think i planned on showing the fake because i've gotten the fake before so be careful when you're buying and buy from a registered store like a very good licensed store not don't just go to your normal market and say you want to buy this stuff you will see it too but you are buying rubbish so make sure you go to a very licensed um cool place to get it femme fresh for then wash is the bomb remember using just water is cool but it's a choice but if you're gonna up on the vagina wash what up on a very good one like the one unscented no fragrance that is just like water but does the work well so don't go around saying oh but then i was give cyst infection and all that that's because you're, you're using the fake one you're using the wrong one you're using scented one you're using the wrong one femme fresh only pot those have vagina wash to up on and your lady part would thank you because mm -mm, there's nothing like using a good vagina wash than they do then something else is personal care another feminine hygiene tip is personal care like um i think everybody knows this clean nails um make your hair neat if you're the type of girl that like lashes you can just do your lashes and your brows and just feel some sort of way you feel extra chic you get if you're the type like me i love my toenails my toenails are always done i don't like facing on nails because i can't work with it it's actually disturbing but my toenails i love my toenails my toenails are always fixed and that's what just keeps me going personal care groom your brows wash your hair invest in your skincare or something that's um under feminine tip you should up on then avoid tight panties avoid tight panties and tight clothes so avoid yeast infection and other types of infection then wipe from from front to back like i really wish i had a plastic vagina oh my god to actually demonstrate i left it at the clinic i had um I was working with a patient. I'm not a doctor, but we will get there at that time. But I was working with someone and I was using it to illustrate. That's how I forgot it at the clinic. So you wipe from up um front to back to avoid infection. Because when you wipe from back up, you're taking um feces and other dirt from your anus to your vagina and you start having bacterial vaginosis, yeast infection, so many other stuff. We don't want that over here, honey. Then the other stuff is character character wise you should learn how to talk to people you should learn how to speak to people i you you just learn this stuff learn to have good manners good manners as a girl is on that feminine hygiene tip you need to know because no matter how cute you are no matter how beautiful you are if you don't have a good manner a good attitude to flow with it you're still trash she needs to be beautiful and clean inside and out okay then other stuff is shaving i don't know some people shave their legs i'm very every kind of girl i shave my legs i used uh i use um zit gold before but someone upped me on this lila um Felity skin eric remover cream and it's the bomb i shave my legs from time to time so this job does the job perfectly well like perfectly well then yeah so if you have to shave your legs or your laps or wherever this shaving cream is bomb and you know when we shaving it doesn't work for my for my armpit i don't know why but i use shaving stick on my armpit but my dad gave me um a shaving foam i don't have it here with me and i'm looking at it now but just stand up and go get it so it gave me a shaving foam that you apply your armpit before you shave this helps with the friction so you don't know you shave direct with shaving stick because it's dark and pink because of the scraping and all that so you can invest if you don't if shaving cream doesn't work for your armpit you can invest in that for your lady parts i shave my lady part because 
hair removal doesn't work down there for me and another thing is that i've not tried waxing i think i'm a little bit scared to try waxing because it's painful but if you've tried waxing and it's cool you can talk about because you know if you have thick ties you have to, even a guy too because I, I i know somebody a guy that actually does this my business partner if you're a lady you have thick ties and you know when you're moving your laps will be rubbing together to avoid suffocation and sweat and all that you just put little perfume oil like this is in sugar baby sugar baby smells very feminine and very nice so yeah like you just rub it down there rub like so when your laps are rubbing together there'll always be a nice smell in between your legs or you know when you're going over to your man's place and you guys are trying to get intimate when you open your legs there's always there's a nice smell coming out of there so i strongly advise i don't know if anybody else does this this was just my own invention perfume oil or any other um calm fruity smell like that you should you know you can spray around there not on your vagina but around your labs those parts that you know morning to night are yeah, you know so whatever happens that place always smells nice when you put your trousers or when you're trying to be intimate with your man when you open your legs that place smells nice so yeah that's another feminine tip and another feminine tip is um eating fruits i don't like eating fruits so i just spend on smoothies and pineapple i right? pineapple is good for your lady part so investing in pineapple um fruits eating of fruits orange drinking a lot of water helps everything go smoothly down there so that's something you should definitely 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 um look into in your feminine hygiene for now so those are the feminine hygiene tips i personally wrote down to share with you guys and if you have any questions please contact me via my instagram i'm always here to talk to ladies ladies problems ladies topics they keep me going i something i love i love medical stuff and i love talking to women i love helping women and i've helped a lot of women with a lot of problems so yeah so till the next video thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate please 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 subscribe subscribe subscribing to a youtube channel is absolutely free so to my next video bye <laughs>